So my, my cell door opened and, you know, I stick my head out to see what they wanted. And they, they tell me, uh, you know, you have a visit. And I asked them to double check because I'm not expecting a visitor. And uh, they double check and make they confirm I have a visitor. So I'm running down there and I have my little visiting room shirt. Like everybody keeps like the, their Sunday best shirt for, for when you, you know, make an appearance in the visiting room. And I'm wondering like who, who came to see me. So when I come inside the, uh, I go in the visiting room, this woman is waving at me and, you know, and I, I nod at her, but like, I don't recognize her. And I think that she's mistaking me from somebody else or else maybe she remembers me from a different uh, visiting room. So I asked the guard at the desk, you know, where's, where's my, uh, wh who came to see me? And she's, and she looks at me like I'm crazy and points to the woman's waving at me. And, you know, she says, well, don't you know who that is? So I don't want, I don't want her to cancel the visit. So I said, yeah, yeah, of course I do. And I just walk over there. And uh, the lady announced herself as my, as, uh, you know, as my, as my attorney. And then she said to me, you know, the, uh, the items have been tested. And I said, well, what are you, what are you talking about? They're not supposed to be tested for another month. And she says, yeah, they've been, they've been tested. The DA pulled some strings and it's been tested. And uh, the, uh, the results match the actual perpetrator. Uh, you're going home tomorrow. And I said, no, I'm not. And we went back and forth two or three times, and uh, and then we I just had this state of mental paralysis where I, like she literally sat there and held my hand for the next three three and a half hours, and my mind was spinning, and all these different thoughts were coming to my head, and I was mentioning to them, and one thought had nothing to do with the other, and every now and then she would break in and say, "Are you ready to talk about tomorrow?" And I would say, "No, no, no, look, look, just look, that's not happening. I'm not going to home, to home tomorrow. Keep that away from you. I don't want to. I'm not entertaining that." Okay. <laughs> and eventually, what made it real at the end, towards the end of the visit, is she told me that, you know, there was almost time for the visiting room to be up and the, uh, the visit hours to be over, and that they had to uh, obtain uh, uh, clothing for me, like a suit, shoes, and do other stuff uh, with the media as far as prepping them. And that's really what uh, that's what really made it real. And of course, a few minutes after that, a different fear popped in my mind, which was, well, something's going to happen between today and tomorrow. And the DA is going to change her mind, and I'm not going to go home at all. I'm just going to just like stay in here. And I was afraid to hope at the end. In other I, words, that's, that's what I'm trying to blame. I don't blame you, and, and and but you did get out the next day. I did. Yeah, I and, did. And how was? I mean, the feeling. How do you describe that? I would say it was surreal. In fact, my first words at the press conference were, um, "Is is this really happening?" 